Hear my thoughts on Limp Bizkit, Loserville, and Pine Knob Amphitheater in Michigan. Wait, why is this punk rock guy going to see Limp Bizkit? We're going to get into that. But before we get into the nitty gritty, can we talk about how Limp Bizkit fans have turned into the ultimate gatekeepers? I mean, they're one of the most hated bands out there, so when I shared my thoughts on one show and one venue, the comment section exploded with people telling me things like this. Can a guy have an opinion? So here's what I think Limp Bizkit Loserville at Pine Out was one of the worst shows I've ever been to. And while I'll never be going to another big metal or new metal show or Pine Out again. Bad parts of the show. Getting in and out of Pine Out is a terrible experience any way you try to spin it. If you disagree, you're lying. Pine Knob's in the middle of nowhere. The outdoor sound seems to get worse and worse every summer. The TV monitors on the hill have the quality of a TV screen from the 1980s. There's no intimacy in an outdoor venue. Even at large stadiums indoors, the connection between the band and the fans is strong. Outdoors, at least at Pine Knob, you don't get that feeling at all. It's just awkward. Whether you're in the pavilion or on the hill, it's like watching a cover band you've never seen on the outdoor patio at some local bar. Plus, if you're on the hill, that angle you've got to stand at is just really uncomfortable. The band and the audience lack the energy I've seen at Passing the Biscuit Show. Fred even asked the audience if they were still alive after they played a song that wasn't one of their top hits. $3 Bill was their best record, and that's not even up for debate. And they only played that stupid George Michaels cover of Faith from that record. Which, looking back now, makes sense for the band, especially after the crickets when they did try to play that B-side. Okay, so my 10-year-old son is a Limp Biscuit fan, and I'll be honest, they're my guilty pleasure music. But I'm personally way more into punk rock. So when I walked into the show, I thought I was gonna be around a lot of like-minded people. That wasn't true. I keep hearing keep politics out of music, but when I go to see a band that's all about partying and having fun, there's a bunch of D-bags walking around showing off who their favorite political idiot is on their t-shirts and hats. Look, I don't do politics, especially on social media, and I'm all for freedom of expression. So I'm not gonna belittle anyone's political party because honestly, I think they all suck. But why does this shit gotta be put in my face everywhere I go? I don't care about who you're voting for. Wear a t-shirt of one of your favorite bands and hopefully they have a cool logo so when I'm driving home, I got some new music to check out on Spotify. This isn't Rage Against the Machine. This isn't a punk rock show. Fuck, it isn't a country concert where political outlook has a big influence on the music. It's Limp Biscuit, a band who named a record chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water. Stop bringing your political bullshit into that. We can get into some good things. I was kind of happy it rained because it made the guy from the Goonies get a set cut short. His music was such ass. T-shirts, even though they're overpriced, they weren't any more expensive than a show you'd see at, let's say, a place like the Masonic. I've never heard a performer get booed the way Riff Raff got it before Fred and the boys took the stage. It was absolutely hilarious. Oh, so all in all, I give this show a solid 6 out of 10. It may not have been my cup of tea personally, but my kid Joy made it a memorable experience. And hey, my last video about it got a ton of views, so I can't complain.